Good morning, everyone. This is Sir Topper, your Science 7 teacher. For today, we're going to discuss all about the first part of Module 1, Science 7, Quarter 2, entitled The Microscope and its Brief History. Before we proceed with our lesson, let us pray. O Lord in heaven, please guide us this day in our studies, in our activities, that all of our works will be benefited with the teachings that our teachers will give us. We ask this through Christ, your Son. Amen. What I need to know. After going through this module, you are expected to determine the brief history of microscope, state the name of the year of each inventor, identify the various type of microscope, and describe their contributions to microscopy. What I know. So this is our review. Directions. Read each question carefully. And using the class point up, K in only the letter of the correct answer for each question. And the class code is 41213. So let's start. What tool is used to help you to see tiny objects and living organisms? Is it A. Google's, B. Microscope, C. Stethoscope, D. Telescope. Go. Okay, let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter B. And that is microscope. Congratulations for those who got it right. Let's proceed with question number two. Who invented the first compound microscope? E. Isaac Newton B. Robert Hooke C. Alexander Graham Bell D. Hans and Zacharias Janssen Go! Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter D, and that was Hans and Zacharias Janssen. Let's proceed with question number three. Which two parts of the light microscope magnify the image of an object? A. Eyepiece and mirror. B. Eyepiece and objective. C. Objectives and mirror. D. Objectives and diaphragm. Go. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter B, and that was eyepiece and objective. Very good. Let's move on with the next question. This is for items 4 to 6. Use the letters in the figure to answer the correct questions. Okay, given the figure of the microscope with letters corresponding to its parts. Okay, so what part moves the body to in objectives up and down? What part? So you have A, B, C, T, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So we have up to L. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see the correct answer. The correct answer for number four is part A. So this is it. That is that part that moves the body tube and objectives up and down. Okay, let's move on with the next question. Which part makes possible the changing of the objectives? Is it A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L? Okay, so let's have the answer. So the correct answer for this is part L. So this is it. Okay. Let's have question number six. Which part will you adjust if the onion cell you are observing under HPO is not clear? Is it part A? B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. Okay, time is up. The correct answer for this is part B. So this Part. Okay, that part will you uh, will going to adjust if you're going to observe under HPO, which is not clear. Okay, so let's have number seven. What makes a microscope determine how clearly the small object can be viewed? This is identification. Okay, let's have the answer. The correct answer for this is magnification and resolution. Okay, let's proceed with question number eight. What is the science of investigating small objects and structures? Go for 30 seconds.
Okay, time is up. Let's see. Let's reveal the answer. The answers are tools, magnifying glass, use or uses, used to produce a magnified image of an object. Number two, telescope, used to look through distant objects, look closer and larger. Number three, binoculars, equipment with two parts that holds against your eyes and look through to see distant objects more clearly. And last is periscope. It is used for looking over the top of something, especially for looking at the surface of the sea from the submarine. So we have these answers. What's new? It is fascinating to know that the process by which many designers and inventors conceptualize an innovation. Through this activity, you will discover the different scientists who contributed to the invention of microscope. Activity 1. Machi Machi. What to do? Read the given paragraphs. Trace the history of the microscope by cupping and filling in the boxes. The first item is done for you and write your answers in your paper. So before we proceed, let me read this to you. On the early 13th century, spectacle makers were producing lenses for glasses. The early simple microscopes were known as flea glasses because they were used to study small insects. A father-son duo, Zacharias and Hans Janssen, created the first microscope in the 1590s. In the year 1625, Galileo Galilei perfects the principle of microscope. In 1665, an English physicist named Robert Hooke looked at a silver of cork through a microscope lens and noticed some pores or cells in it. Anton van Leeuwenhoek built a simple microscope in 1674 with only one lens to examine blood, yeast, insects, and many other tiny objects. In the year in the year 1925, Richard Sigmonti developed the ultra microscope that could study objects below the wavelength of light and won a Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1925. The phase contrast microscope was invented by Fritz Zernike in 1932 that allows the study of colorless and transparent biological materials. Little was done to improve the microscope until the middle of the 19th century when great strides were made and quality instruments like today's microscope emerged. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to answer this. Try to complete on the left column, you are given the sample and the year or the time is 13th century. So we have simple microscopes were known as flea glasses because they were used to study small insects. Please continue following the format. Go. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. So, in, in 1625, Galileo Galilei invented one of the first compound microscopes. 1665, Robert Hooke coined the term cell. In 1674, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, one of the first scientists able to observe bacteria movement in a single drop of pond water. In 1830, Joseph Jackson Lister was credited for his prototype of the compound microscope. 1872, Ernst Abbe provided the calculations that allowed for the maximum resolution in microscopes possible. In 1903, Richard Sigmonti developed the ultra microscope. In 1932, Fritz Knight invented the phase contrast microscope. And in 19th century, Charles Spencer began producing fine optical microscopes. So that is the little history or the timeline. 
So what is it? This is all about the brief history of microscope. Hans and Zacharias Janssen produced the first compound microscope in 1590s. They were Dutch eyeglasses makers. They began experimenting with ways to use different lenses. When they put a lens at the end of a small tube, they discovered that the objects near the end were magnified more than the lens by itself could achieve. So that was Hans and Zacharias Jensen in 1590s. And the second was Galileo Galilei was credited with inventing one of the first compound microscope in the year 1625. It is called compound microscope because it has more than one lens. He added a focusing device to his microscope and of course went on to explore the heavens with his telescopes. In 1965, Robert Hooke had access to many microscopes available in Royal Society of London. He examined everything he could get his hands on. When he examined a very thin slice of cork, he thought the close-up views resembled small, empty rooms. It reminded him of small rooms found in monastery. Thus, he named this rooms cells. This gives way to the discovery of self. In 1674, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, that scientist, worked to create stronger lenses that result to more powerful microscope. He was one of the first scientists able to observe bacteria movement in a single drop of pond water. The prototype for the compound microscope was credited to Joseph Jackson Lister in 1830, which reduces spherical aberration or the chromatic effect by showing that several weak lenses used together at certain distances gave good magnification without blurring the image. And Ernst Ab, research director of the Zeiss Optical Works, wrote a mathematical formula called the Abbey sign condition. This formula provided calculations that allowed for the maximum resolution in microscopes possible in the year 1872. In 1903, Richard Sigmondi developed the ultra microscope that could study objects below the wavelength of light. And with this, he won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in the year 1925. And Fritz Zernike invented the phase contrast microscope in 1932 that allowed for the study of colorless and transparent biological materials for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1953. And in 19th century, companies in Germany like Zeiss and an American company founded by Charles Spencer began producing fine optical microscopes. Here are samples of Charles Spencer microscopes. Very good. Very nice. Very pleasing to the eye. So these are just samples of Charles Spencer microscopes. What's more? Are you getting familiar with the inventors and their contribution to the development of the microscope? Let us have another activity focusing on the timeline of the development of the microscope. Let's have this as image uploading. Make a brief timeline about the development of microscope. You will call its timeline travel zone from past to the past. have the answer. What do you think is the answer? Mm -hmm. so let's give more time. So let's reveal the answer. So, you're given first in 1590, the father and son Tuvo, Zacharias, Sanson Johnson invented the first compound microscope. And in between 1550 and 1650, we have 1625, Galileo Galilei Perfect, the principle of microscope. And in between 1650 to 1750, we have Robert Hooke look at the silver of cork to the microscope 
lens and notice some pores or cells. This is the, the discovery of cells. And same, in between 1650 to 1750, we have Anton van Leeuwenhoek built simple microscope with only one lens to examine blood, yeast, insects, and other tiny objects. And in between 1850 and 1950, Richard Sigmondi developed the ultra microscope. In the same range, 1850 to 1950, we have Fitzer Knight invented the phase contrast microscope. So here is the time zone travel from the past to the present. Okay. What I have learned, and now that you've learned about the history of the development of the microscope, let us find out how far you have understood by answering the activity below. Are you ready? Let's start. This is image uploading. Directions. Describe the following scientists below and tell something about their contribution to the development of the microscopes. They are Robert Hooke, Hans Inscarius Janssen, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, and Richard Sigmondi. Go. Okay, let's see the answer. Scientist Robert Hooke contribution, he coined the term cell. Hans and Zacharias Janssen produced the first compound microscope. Anton van Leeuwenhoek is the first person to describe a living cell from a single drop of pond water. And Richard Sigmondi developed the ultra microscope that could study objects below the wavelength of light. That's it. So let's have the assessment. Directions. Read each item carefully. Write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. And key in your answers in your class point up. Our class code is 41213. So let's start. In what year did the father and son two spectacles makers create the first microscope? Is it A, 1565? B, 1590? C, 1675 and T, 1830. Go. Okay, time is up. Let's see the answer. It is letter B. It's 1590. Very good. Let's proceed with question number two. Who uses a microscope with only one lens to observe insects and other specimens? Okay, the correct answer is letter D, Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Okay, let's have number three question. Who invented the ultra microscope which allows observation of specimens beyond the wavelength of light? Go. Okay, let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter B. That is Richard Sigmonti. Very good. Let's move on with number four questions. He wrote mathematical formula called the Abyssine condition. His formula provided calculations that allowed for the maximum resolution in microscopes possible in 1872. Is A. 
is Robert Hooke, B. Ernst Abbe, C. Fritz Sernaik, D. Joseph Jackson Lister. Go! Okay, let's show the correct answer. Correct answer is letter B. It's Ernst Abe Abe. Okay, let's move on with the last question. He invented the phase contrast microscope in 1932 that allowed for the study of colorless and transparent biological materials for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1953. He is Robert Hooke for A, Ernst Abbe for B, Prince Nike for C, or D, Joseph Jackson Lister for letter D. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter C, and that is Fritz Cernay. Congratulations for those who got it right. Okay, so do you have any question? So I hope that you learned from my discussion. So with this, this is Sir Topper. Thank you and good